There are multiple ways you can install Asterisk and several different add-on packages which extend Asterisk's functionality. In this module, we will explore the different ways you can install Asterisk and look at a sampling of some of the available add-on packages. The first method we'll look at and the one we'll use in this course is installing Asterisk from source. This method gives you, the Asterisk administrator, the greatest control over what your Asterisk server can do. When installing from source, we can take advantage of the Menu Select tool. This tool gives us fine-grained control over which Asterisk modules are built and installed. The actual installation process will be explained in detail in the next module. For now, we'll just introduce the options available to you. If you have followed along with the modules in this chapter, you've learned that the YUM Package Manager can be a useful tool to install software packages that Asterisk requires in order to run properly. YUM and other package managers can also be used to install Asterisk if the distribution maintainers have configured their package repositories to include it. Digium provides a YUM repository on asterisk.org that allows you to install up-to-date Asterisk packages directly from Digium. You can visit asterisk.org slash downloads slash yum to see how to set this up. The primary benefit of installing Asterisk using a package manager is that dependencies are automatically resolved making installation as simple as possible. However, you lose the flexibility of choosing which Asterisk modules get installed since the packages are pre-compiled and installed automatically. Also, you may not get the very latest version of Asterisk from a package manager. It takes time for the distribution maintainers to incorporate new Asterisk releases into their repositories, so they are often a version or two behind. The very latest version of Asterisk is always available from Asterisk.org. The last Asterisk installation method we'll discuss involves the use of a software appliance. Digium offers a software appliance called Asterisk Now that includes not only Asterisk, but the entire Linux operating system. It's downloaded from an ISO from Asterisk.org, burned to a disk, and then used to install Linux and Asterisk on a server. It's called a software appliance because it's intended to be used as an all-in-one package that starts from scratch and ends with a fully functioning Asterisk server. Asterisk Now includes a custom version of Linux, a pre-installed version of Asterisk, and a user-friendly graphical user interface for managing your Asterisk configuration. Asterisk Now is a great choice for people who have little Linux experience and want to get Asterisk processing calls in a hurry. It's a quick and easy way to get an Asterisk system up and running. The GUI lets you configure the most common settings, but there are numerous Asterisk configuration options that are not exposed in the GUI. Asterisk Now is good for many typical PBX installations, but isn't as popular a choice for installations that need to be highly customized. Asterisk can be thought of as a robust and versatile telephony platform. It provides the generic features necessary to build a multitude of telephony applications. Sometimes, the base Asterisk package lacks some specific ability that can be met by using an additional module. There are dozens of other packages that provide extra functionality within Asterisk, including both open source and commercial packages. Among the most popular commercial extensions to Asterisk are Digium's Fax for Asterisk and Codec G729 modules. You can learn more about these and many other packages, both free and commercial, at the Digium-sponsored Asterisk Exchange at asteriskexchange.com. The typical Asterisk installation includes a set of default sound files that can be used for hold music and prompts. There are also extended sound packages that supplement the base library and provide your Asterisk system with a wider variety of audio formats and additional prompts. Core sounds are available in English, Spanish, and French. Extra sounds are available in English and French. These sound packages can be installed using the Menu Select tool or manually. In summary, Asterisk can be installed several different ways. It can be installed using YUM or the package manager for your Linux distribution of choice. It can be installed at the same time that Linux is installed using Asterisk Now, or it can be built from source. In this course, we will install Asterisk from source. In addition to the base Asterisk package, there are several add-on packages compatible with Asterisk that you're welcome to install. Now let's move on to the next module, where we'll walk through a source-based installation step-by-step.